to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You? Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? That is insurance claim to your wardrobe. <laughs> what brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact friend. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't <laughs> fix it. Is that your business mantra? And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. Yeah. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. Right, more damage. Anything else you want to show me? Yes, yeah. just a few more things. I show me something else. Rubble. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? <laughs> There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jap. Oh, you're one of those. What's a dairy free? <laughs> Any more damage? The jukebox. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. Looks broken to me. 
Just needs a little of the old Fran. Razzle dazzle. I don't like music anyway. little vault landers toys how kitschy found it <clears throat> said everything i think amara continue Anything else? Anything else? I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, hang on. Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. Oops, scorch mark. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. I think that's everything. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. I said, open the door. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first. But now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. This is going to be awkward. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to kill you. He was trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz, your insurance claim has been approved. <laughs> what? Really? I thought you'd be, uh, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. <laughs> It almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. <laughs> nah. Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. <laughs> I wanna watch next time. Uh, will do. Citizens 
of Meridian City. This area is now under TDO jurisdiction. We are implementing a curfew which begins five minutes ago. Leave the streets immediately or we will open fire. Son of a bitch! Yeah! If anyone sticks around, I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast! Yeah! Shut up, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Stay calm. We must approach this with level heads. Everybody I'm... take cover! Hide! <laughs> <laughs> Up there. Octavio! What happened to fighting them off? You turned yellow belly or what? Discretion is the better part of valor, Radon. Take cover, you idiot! Nah, I don't think so. Sucking this, you invading crap stains! <laughs> Hostiles! Shoot to kill! Oh, that was beautiful. I hit the wrong one. Say Danielle. Danielle, I need a favor. Must be Wednesday. Got a TDR commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. What if I really need I'm taking the training wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! <laughs> Our commander has fallen! I fight like I did this! I'll shoot them! Hurry up! Four thousand surgeons to kill! That regrettably mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. There's uh, annoying gun technology. <laughs> This weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! It's making. And you smell like your poor! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. <laughs> well, obviously. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. <laughs> Let's 
<laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. I hate you so much. Nice try, journalism hate out. Fine! You can grab my handle, but You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Why don't you turn me around and look me in the face while you say that, you lowlife? And the name's Brock. Bang, 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 bang! He's over here! He's over here! The insurgent's over here! Nothing personal. But I just think I like you better when you're a corpse. That seems extremely personal. <laughs> All right, enough for this! I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. I wish I ate more tacos! <laughs> <laughs> I will not de escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. My friends all call me. You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanker. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Daniel who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. <laughs> you're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill calm woman. Face and a knife. <laughs> You're awake. You looked like an angel. A tragedy. Safety first. You bet. Time to. Friends, really? Uh, I always knew the so called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> Meet 
you. What? I'm... Mistake! Mistake! A mistake is happening! Eat my head. Spin the D! Excuse me. Mistake! read the situation. When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The five fathers! <laughs> the five fathers. Yeah. Got it. What do we do? Pretty girl, pretty kill. I'm not a killer, I'm just sending them on a little trip. My name is Anu. Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! And be a hero. I was going to show people that there's another way. But now, now I'm part of the problem. Just another killer with a broken mortal code. Broken best friends. <laughs> Oh, 
Reborn, I am. You did a kill. Baptism by giblets. <laughs> yeah. So, for starters, I'm going to need to re-examine my entire perception of myself and my place in the world based on the discovery that I'm willing to compromise my core values in order to survive. Okay. Well, staple face. This has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. <laughs> Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! <laughs> I'm back by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. <laughs> it is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name for the record. Hiya. Assassin? Correct. It's not what you think. But you're okay? The Tedior invasion force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. <laughs> Friend. <clears throat> Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> he asked for a lifetime supply again. Right before trying to kill me. And you let him live? <laughs> Maybe recovery is working. <laughs> we'll see. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Fogerts. Oh, the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating targets. You need a hug. Hug? I'm fine. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not. Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, Excuse me. I need you to cover for me. 
for the love of the almighty robot police? Man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Make sure he stays quiet. Of course. No problem. I can't thank you enough. Thank me if I get out of this without a new set of holes in my head. <clears throat> on your knees! Get on your knees! <laughs> no. The boy and the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Where what boy? That boy. Ah, him. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. Uh. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needs to succeed. Have <laughs> you gone over a personal development plan with him? Prepare to fire. Prepare it. Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it. You are about to execute a geo licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? Mm -hmm. We're Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! <laughs> what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! As a matter of glass ceilings and souls. <laughs> Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but being housed by this woman and we wanted to shoot her but she's a TDR licensee and now our guns will fire and oh damn licensee loophole I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion so uh we should just let her go for god's sakes use your imagination if you can't shoot her bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt sand down on their heads let the rebel kill them I swear, I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. What's your name? Ah, uh, Coldwell. Chairwoman Coldwell, darling, get it right. Just committing it to memory. Because once I survive this, I'm going to devote every waking moment to tracking you down and putting a bullet in your head. Hmm. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Now, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this isn't cruelty. This is just the natural order of things. Do not come here. I'll go willingly. Oops. Almost didn't make it.
Hmm. Wonder if they survived. So there's some roads that exist for zero percent. Yeah, behind the construction. Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little <gasps> nugget of oh. good. <clears throat> Banana blast. <gasps> what have they done to you? Louis? Lou, where are you? Come on, pal. You better just be looming somewhere like you always do. Lou! Make a bad joke if you hear me. How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. What the hell? Did you just stay there on your knees doing nothing? Did you just like not try to avoid the blast at all? There was no need, Octavio. I am built to withstand far greater shocks than the demolition of an already half demolished Froget shop. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. I would risk your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I, I, I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! Mm, that's weird. I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Octavio! Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm here? 
day keeps getting weirder. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's been in the hood? And nice to see you too. Looks like you've got everything perfectly in order here. Been doing my best to help rebuild after the first invasion, but yeah. Really, living your best life. <laughs> Under 30, flirty, and thriving. So I absolutely didn't need to rush down here and try and save your life? Nope. <laughs> I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still-smoking pile of rubble. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a ratch nest. I've had a day. A fun day? No, <laughs> a not fun day. A running for my life day. Ah, yeah, those days happen here. Look, I get it. You don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yeah. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. <laughs> First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. <laughs> Enough sibling squabbling. This is a froyo shop, not family therapy. I don't think this still qualifies as a froyo shop. Say that <laughs> again. Whoa, whoa, we're getting off on the wrong foot. Friend, this is Anu, my socially inept sister. Anu, this is Friend, my sensitive boss. <laughs> she took me in when I had no place to go. You know, after you ditched me. I... Yes. Thank you, Octavio. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Whoa! Uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Meet Anu. My sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I <laughs> see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We are... Never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas! Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No, oh well, sort of, yes, but not me, no. 
Atlas, Malawan, TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people, and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, I, I, I don't squish people. I left Atlas. I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. Sure. Okay. You don't build guns. You just carry them around with you? What's your deal? Anxiety. And science. Mostly anxiety. Got my eye on you. I can live with that. I will live with that. I just want to live. <laughs> Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. No. You trust him? What drugs are you putting in your frogurt? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on. You know my stealing days are behind me? Friend sure does. Like me, a friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Never stolen from me, at least. Because he doesn't have a death wish. That's right. Call me Mr. Not Steal. Because he spends all his days not stealing. <laughs> Very impressive. Proud of you, bro. Thanks. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like a radio. Tell him. Tidior Com. Octavio's pocket. Friend! <laughs> Octavior Com's device? How the heck did you get this? Well, it's a complicated story. I, uh. Stole it. Friend! <laughs> Octavio! A doomsday device? I think, and they think, there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what Tidior wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No, 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 it's not worth it. <laughs> Tidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know... Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. Catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? 
Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was gonna say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, <laughs> I gotta run, because, uh... Bye, boss. Looks like they're gonna... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDO has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDO comms. Got it. You definitely have not. <laughs> Balking at the first sign of danger. She's just another spineless Atlas tool. She won't stand up for you. She can't barely stand up for herself. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> my shop is gone. I lost my temper. I just need to sit somewhere quiet and visualize the pulp I'll beat Susan Coldwell into if I had the chance. I've lost enough to know the most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is Tidior. She's the CEO of the Big Cheese. And? <laughs> We steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under Tidior's nose. You sock a wallop to Tidior, translate a property, you sock a wallop to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. You always know how to weasel someone with words. Lovable weasel? Eh. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. <laughs> now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of ten skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, so why personal skateboards? hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? Okay. <laughs> What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already <laughs> remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards! Congratulations! You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan. And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all. <laughs> right. 
Go and hit him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish up here. I'll see you again soon. Bye.